Well, with summer here and students out of school, local police say sextortion crimes have been on the rise. According to the FBI, law enforcement has received more than 7,000 reports to the online financial sextortion of minors. The goal of these organizations is to make parents aware of potential harms their children may face online. Our Jesse Zaragoza spoke with a representative from the Ector County Independent School District and explains what parents need to be on the lookout for. The Department of Homeland Security, in partnership with Ector County ISD and the Boys and Girls Club of the Permian Basin, is offering a training program to parents to help combat against extortion. They're sharing shocking statistics with us. There were at least 3,000 victims that are primarily boys and more than a dozen suicides in the year 2022 alone. The program aims to empower parents with the knowledge and tools necessary to protect their children from the dangers of online sextortion. Crime can start on any app, platform, or video game. According to the FBI, in some cases, the first contact from the criminal will be a threat, where the person will claim to already have a revealing photo or video of a child that will be shared if the victim does not see those. As a parent, you want to be for. And so you need to know that they have access to chats in these games when they're playing online. And so those chats are where they target your children. And so there could be someone, you know, asking, are your parents home? What's your address? Where do you live? Tell me more about yourself. You know, and they think it's somebody that's a peer, but it's not necessarily a peer that they're talking to. The course informs parents ways that they can prevent sextortion from happening to their kids by teaching their children not to give personal information, photos, and contact information. With the rise of social media over the past few years, this has been one way that perpetrators have gained access to their victims. Part of what can happen is they can ask for some of their social media platforms. If the child has access to any other social media, like a Snapchat or something, where they can send or receive something, even email. Um, that's why we put on the flyer specifically. There's so many ways they can access your children without your consent. Tuesday will be the final training that parents can participate in for the program. It will be held at the Boys and Girls Club at 1476 North Knox in Odessa from 530 to 630. Reporting in studio, Jesse Zaragoza, ABC Big 2 News. And as of right now, there have been no plans to host more trainings. But if the need is significant, local law enforcement says there is a possibility for more during the summer.